Good morning, friends. Um, so I figured today I would kind of give you a day in the life of look of just, you know, what I do every day, what a real estate agent does. Now here's the thing. Not every day is the same. Also, you can see Astro playing back there. Not every day is the same, um, but today, you know, there's several things going on. This morning, I've just been catching up on emails. I'm not sitting in my normal office just because sometimes I just like to switch up the scenery. So, been getting emails done, and then in a little while, I've got to make a quick run to Target and to Hobby Lobby to pick up a couple of things for the Gatlinburg house because we are headed there this afternoon um, when my husband gets off work because it is hopefully our last weekend of just putting the finishing touches on the house to get it ready to go to the Airbnb market. So really excited about that. Um, it has been a true labor of love. I think I've calculated it. Like we've been there 12 times, like 12 weekends since we bought it. Um, yeah. And it's finally, finally looking like it's coming together. So I've got that, but that means I have to go drop my boys off at their dog trainer slash dog sitter's house. Um, and then I got to run to Franklin. I have a blue tape walk through today and for a new construction home. So I've got that, but before that I am going to stop off at my chiropractor's office in Franklin. Um, I haven't been there in a while and I can definitely tell. So going to do that, hit the blue tape walk through, um, then have another thing going on all, all the while I've got another uh, contract in negotiations for repairs. So we'll see if that ends up coming through. So again, this is just a sampling of what goes on some days. Um, you know, it's meeting after meeting after meeting other days. There's just a lot of at home work, but today I'm going to be out and about. So I'm going to bring you along. So I'm at my chiropractor's office now, uh, before I go do the blue tape walk through for new construction in Franklin. Um, the reason why I love my chiropractor's office is because like when I was even introduced to the idea of doing, you know, chiropractic adjustments, I did not want all of like the neck snapping and all of that. Like that just freaked me out. And then you like hear those stories of people that do that and then they have like a stroke and die like the next day. Um, so I didn't want any of that, but my chiropractor's office, she specializes and I think it's called like ortho orthogonal. So what? Uh, again, I'm not a doctor. I don't know all the things, but it's basically saying if your atlas bone, so that bone that connects your your, it's the top of your spine to your neck, that if that one's out of alignment, it can cause the whole spine to be out of alignment. So instead of like neck snapping, there's literally this rod that sits behind your ear, and these two. I guess metal pieces clamp and it sends a wave down so you don't even feel it but it'll do that and then after that you do certainly get adjustments on the table on your back but again it's none of that neck snapping so that was really important to me if you're like moving to the area or you want to know the name of my chiropractor's office I'm more than happy to share that with you because I've just I mean I've been going here for like five years or so. So I'm going to go get adjusted and then it's time to uh, go to the blue tape walkthrough. Okay. So I'm about to go do a blue tape walkthrough. So for those that don't know, um, in new construction, shortly before closing, you have the ability to go with the builder, take literal blue tape and you mark up the cosmetic defects that they need to fix before closing because inevitably there's going to be just little things here and there. And when you're buying new construction, like you don't want to have to purchase the property and then start doing work to it. So uh, we're going to be going and doing that. Um, kind of give you just a peek of what's going on. Now to know this property is more or less kind of like a one off type new build. So this isn't a new build neighborhood where, you know, when that's happening, it's more of like a kind of like a big box process that you go through. Um, this is, you know, and, and it's like in that situation, when you build new construction, you know, there's the builder contract and everything gets run through the builder agent. Whereas 
this is a much, much smaller project and a smaller builder. So we were able to get one of these condo units under contract. And so, um, you know, we, we are still doing it on a builder contract, but you have a little bit more flexibility in terms of terms. So like we not only got to do an inspection, but now we're going to do the blue tape too. So i um, going to go do that and then head to an appointment in Franklin. I'm already in Franklin, but head to another appointment here and then head home to load up the vehicle with so much stuff to take to Gatlinburg and then we'll be hitting the road. So, um, you know, on to the next. So I have dropped off the boys um, and like I told you, uh, we are in repair negotiations and so I've got about a 45 minute drive to my next appointment. So I don't want my client to wait while I draft up our, our repair proposal response. So one thing that I do a lot is work from my car. <laughs> so hotspot is a necessity, it's a must have. So, um, just getting this drafted up to be able to send for signatures really quick. And then after I do that, then get on the road for my next appointment. But yeah, this is what happens. You gotta, uh, you gotta work from the road a lot. So even if that means like pulling into a gas station, just, you just, you do what you gotta do to get it done. So we are back at Home Depot. I swear it's like we live here and I embody the Home Depot line of doers get more done. And every time you think you have everything, you don't. So we're back to hopefully get the remaining pieces. Okay, so we are desperately in this final push. Um, the car is just loaded down. We've got groceries, we've got pillows, we've got all of these like final knickknacks. Um, the funny thing about my husband, he's always convinced it's never gonna fit in the car. And this is nothing compared to um, compared to other times that we've packed this car to bring stuff up here to the Gatlinburg area. In fact, I'll share a photo. Um, when we brought up several pieces of furniture, he was convinced. He's like, there's no way that's gonna fit. But me, I'm like, where there's a will, there's a way. And I mean, I took legs off of furniture. Um, I mean, the car was packed to the roof and to here, but I did it because where there's a will, there's a way. So we are just desperately trying to get to the final push here and get everything put together. But um, I'm feeling really good about stuff. I'm, I'm still like all of the details part is hard for me um i'm like a big picture person but today we were just knocking tasks out at the house before we headed out so i'm feeling really good but i'm just ready for it to be done but we're almost there so we made it to the house for this weekend there is so much stuff it's really overwhelming. So, um, yeah, the goal of this weekend is to get this place in order. We brought all the knickknacky stuff, so I'm really tired tonight, but normally I would go ahead and start tackling it, but I'm just so tired. I think it's going to be get a good night's sleep and then start tackling all the things. So we are back in Nashville after our weekend. This is like what happens is I always try to document it and then lo and behold, like we just get so busy doing the work that I forget to film and whatever. But we are almost there with this Gatlinburg house. Like we're at like 98%, you know, I was hoping to have it completely finished this weekend. Um, and we are so thankful we had friends in town to help us, which like their help was completely invaluable. Um, but we've still got just like a few little things left to organize. 
um, label stuff, but so excited. It looks so good. I'm so proud of it. Um, and I'm just really, really thankful that we're like right here at the tail end of it. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of been our life, right? Like busting butt during the week for clients and then my team helping on the weekend while we've been in Gatlinburg getting this renovation up and going. But like, I'm so ready for it to go live. I'm so ready to share it. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, just been a little bit of a day or weekend in the life of, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and the Gatlinburg renovation reveal video is coming later this week. So I hope you'll tune in for that. Cause like I said, I'm really proud of it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time.